6.7, we're going to talk about biomass. You want to be able to describe the effects of the use of biomass and power generation on the environment. So biomass is a renewable source of energy because we get it from things that can be continuously created, like wood and garbage, crops, landfill, gas, alcohol, fuels. It comes from the energy stored in photosynthesis. So it derives initially from the sun, and through photosynthesis, it gets trapped into those bonds, and then we um, release those the energy from those bonds, typically in a in a burning fuel to create steam and turbines, so on kind of way. But not just. So biomass can include wood, like we burn to heat homes or buildings, produce. Uh, process heat in industry, generates electricity, we can use agriculture crops and waste, either they can be burned as a fuel or we can use it to turn into liquid biofuels. We use garbage to either burn to create electricity or we can convert um, it to biogas from landfills. Animal manure and human sewage can also be converted to biogas and that can be burned as a fuel. So I want to spend a couple ta or a couple slides on biofuel. First main type of biofuel is ethanol. So ethanol burns more cleanly, and so we can blend it with petroleum, or we can use it on its own. You'll see when you go to fill up your tank, almost every pump that I can think of has this sign that it's 10% or less of ethanol. Um, so it's very typical. There are some uh, vehicles, if it's made past 2007, they can use up to 15%. And there are other vehicles that can use as high as 83% ethanol. Um, but traditionally, you'll see at least 10%. And that also decreases the amount of petroleum that we have to use. So most of the ethanol in the United States is made from distilling corn, which comes with its own issues. But other common sources include sugar cane and switchgrass. Biodiesel is made from vegetable oils, fats, or grease. Um, it um, can also come particularly from like, the waste grease used in restaurants. Um, it's an awesome you know, repurposing of that waste product. You typically see a common blend of diesel, uh, is it 20% biodiesel, but again, it can be much more. It just depends on the engine if it was designed to handle that. Biogas, typically methane, carbon dioxide, um, mostly methane. And it's produced from anaerobic digestion. So this could come from landfills, farms, sewage treatments, paper mills, food processors, anything that we can um, harvest methane from and that we can use as a gas, just as like we would use natural gas. Um, so in modern landfills, we have a lot of anaerobic digestion, so we can kind of have like a methane gas recovery system and then again that can be used to burn as a fuel. Uh, this is an example of how farms can use it. So for, for instance, agriculture waste, wasted food, biosolids, so like manure or organic wastewater, and it can go into this inner digester, create a biogas, and that itself can be used as a fuel source um, to provide electricity for the farm. On the one hand, Biomass is relatively low cost. It's really easy to use. It's very available. Um, it can make um, a very common source of energy. Biomass is also kind of considered carbon neutral. So it's carbon neutral in that you're not taking a reservoir that's been locked up for millions of years and just pumping it out into the, the atmosphere at an incredible rate. So that's what we see when we burn fossil fuels. Uh, you're taking energy that was stored in a very short-term reservoir, plants and animals, um, and this is just the same amount of carbon dioxide that, you know, was just stored not that long ago, and, like in terms of like Earth's history. However, it is still carbon dioxide, and our goal is to decrease the amount of carbon dioxide that we're producing, because even if, if, if it's just biomass and we never had fossil fuels, it'd be fine. The fact remains that we have had a lot of fossil fuels and it has upset that balance. And there's still fossil fuels involved in the whole process. For instance, the growing corn means, you know, farming equipment, transportation. There's all along those steps 
there's still fossil fuels in it. But again, it's carbon neutral-ish. On the other hand, biomass creates a demand for wood, and that can lead to, or that does lead to deforestation. Um, there have been subsidies that um, make it cheaper to grow corn if it's being used for ethanol, as opposed to growing corn for food, so that creates a food shortage. Burning also produces carbon dioxide. In addition, which we already talked about, but in addition to that, there's carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, particulate matter, volatile organic compounds. So it's still a fuel, it's still being burned. Um, so you still have a lot of those byproducts. Also the energy return on investment for ethanol is pretty low. Um, we're not getting as much kind of like money out of it as we put into it. Here in summary, describe the effects of the use of biomass and power generation on the environment.